Welcome to the state television company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 45 issue of Western Armenian weekly magazine has been published. The regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. The book, The Fire of My Roots, by Raymond Ruben Berberian. COP29 will take place in a country where enormous climate damage is being caused. Tribute on the 155th birthday of Komitas. And Anik Ozanian's combat sword is displaced in the History Museum of Armenia. 15-year-old Aved Kasparov at the Prague Football Club. The 45 issue of Western Armenian Weekly Magazine has been published. Hran Ding's photo is on the cover of the 45 issue of Western Armenian Weekly Magazine. For many years, Ding was the founder and editor of the newspaper Agos. He was an independent journalist, often breaking the limits of acceptability in Turkey, in a country where taboos are rarely broken. He showed exceptional courage in the field of self-expression, and for that reason, he earned a huge amount of attention. His death was largely due to the continuous blackening of his image in the press. Dear viewers, the following topics are also presented in the new issue. School memories of the genocide survivors of genocide carried out against Armenians. And Komitas International Association of Genocide Scholars Resolution on the Republic of Artsakh, Ani, the capital of Western Armenia, Ashut Hayatunyan. In Western Armenia, the head of the goddess Anait, etc., was found in the magazine. Armenian, English and French versions of the magazine are available on the website of Western Armenia. On 25 September, the regular session was held of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. Nelly Harutsunyan, the chairwoman of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, made an opening speech of the session and the presentation of the agenda, who welcomed the attendees and highlighted the importance of this meeting from the point of view of discussing the current issues and future plans of the Republic of Western Armenia. They discussed the last September official event of the Republic of Western Armenia, which took place on 26 September. In the second part of the session, a number of current issues were discussed related to the political and diplomatic activities of Western Armenia. In particular, the issues of protection of the rights of Western Armenia were emphasized on international platforms, the development of new projects and programs that will contribute to the strategy of national interests. The book, The Fire of My Roots, offered by Raymond Ruben Berberian, addressed the rich history and identity of the Armenian people, as well as their national aspirations. This work includes poems and reflections that deeply analyze the importance of Western Armenia, emphasizing the connection between Armenians and their ancestral homeland. In his book, Berberian expresses the struggle and resistance of the Armenian people, especially the historical pain stemming from the genocide against the Armenians. He presents the importance of restoring the rights of the Armenian people at the same time, demanding to recognize the fact of genocide, as well as to return to the Armenian territories that are temporarily under foreign control, particularly is controlled by Turkey and Azerbaijan. This book is an important reminder of the historical wounds that the Armenian people bear, but it is also a source of hope and strength that opens the way to a future where Armenians will be able to regain their historical rights and identity. Again, a roundtable discussion on climate change and human rights protection which was held on 25 September ahead of COP29 in Baku. The event was organized with the support of Louis Richardson, president of Carnegie Corporation, Nubara Feyan, co-founder of Aurora Initiative, Lee Seligman, head of the Team B organization, and Paul Polman, former director of Unilever. The participants of the roundtable were concerned that the prestigious COP conference was entrusted to Baku when Artsakh was depopulated last year and Ilham Aliyev's regime continues to hold Armenian hostages. Yesterday, September 26, a tribute was paid in the Pantheon of Komitas Park on the occasion of Komitas' 155th birthday. This was reported by the Ministry of Education and Sciences of the Republic of Armenia. Then the temporary exhibition titled Parisian Meetings was opened with the support and financing of the Ministry of Republic of Armenian Education, Science and Culture and Sports. On the eve of the 106th anniversary of Andani Kozanyan's birth, the opening ceremony of the temporary exhibition titled Your Holy Name Will Be Remembered Forever was held in the Museum of History of Armenia. The heirs of Andanik's wife, Seta Angrikor, 
The Grand Yanton eighty thousands of new exhibits belonging to Andranik Zoravar, including the Battle Sword, the hero's lock of hair, which his wife kept as a relic for years, photos, documents, and personal items to the museum. 15 year old football player Avid Kasparov, a member of the youth football team of Eastern Armenia, became a member of the youth team of the Czech Sparta Club. From April 2, he went through a trial period for a few months, and from July 28, he was accepted into the club. The young football player gave an interview to Orer magazine. He was born on 28 September 2018 in Yerevan. He is the son of Givor Kasparov, the famous goalkeeper of the Armenian football team. The love for football he received from his father, playing in the youth teams of Banatsi, then Urartu. His brother Gor also participated in the games of youth teams. Avet is also a member of the youth national team of Armenian under the age of 17. From October 9, he will participate in the matches with the teams of Slovenia, Georgia and Poland. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.